Coming up late. He lives in Stiltsville. Everyone here helps to produce wool. Wool blended with fairy tales which is sent out to every corner of the world. One day, Bimble acquires a bucket, a magic bucket, which will give him anything he wishes for. This is the guardian of the bucket, Teeny Weeny. Soon others are after it. Dolly Clackhanger for one. Dolly would dearly love to be the village witch, but she's been thrown out of the village because of the noise and mess caused by her experiments. The small one is her assistant, Sploot. Queen Cack, the lazy, greedy ruler of the country, also wishes to possess the bucket and sends her servant, Bilge and Euler, to steal it. But then everything blows up. Stiltsville is left hanging in the air and Slea City slides into the crater beneath. And now, because Bimble and Teeny Weeny have blocked the escape pipe from Slea City with Dolly's own cauldron, Dolly, Bilge, Euler and Sploot are all trapped down in the crater. Uh, what shall we do? Well, I don't know. We could go and annoy Mudge. Yeah. Why not? Can't be bothered. <laughs> we could hide behind a rock and flick bits of mud at him. That always gets him going. I told you, I can't be bothered. I could do with something to eat, though. Yeah. All right, then. Let's go and find Dolly. It must be at least an hour since we had anything. I could just fancy a cream caramel myself. Hello, doll. Hello, doll. Any chance of something to eat, then? Certainly not. Go away at once. Oh, please, doll. Please. We're ever so hungry. Can't you see I'm working? It's hard enough trying to manage without my cauldron, without being constantly interrupted by you two asking for food. If you give us it all, we promise to go away and not come back for the rest of the day. You won't see us till supper time. Honest. Very well. But if either of you come back before then, there will be no more food ever. Ever! Is that understood? Yes, Dolly. Oh... Onti Rio, Nardu Beach. Oh, fantastic doll. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, doll. Split! Yes, Dolly? Oh, ah! What are you doing? Get away from me! Sorry, Dolly. I need a small jar. Now. Right away, Dolly. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Clackhanger. some relation of Her Majesty's, I believe, was very keen for a time on making this sort of thing. I'm surprised you haven't come across them before. They're all over the place. What are they? Inventions, I believe they're called. All different shapes and sizes he made. He disappeared one day, you know. Just like that. What do they do? Oh, all different things, I think. Well, what do these ones do? These ones? Hmm. These ones, I think I'm right in saying, were supposed to fly in the air. I can't imagine how. I mean, what would you use for fuel? Mm, a little applied magic, perhaps. Well, um, I don't know, but uh, you're welcome to try, I suppose. I have every intention of trying, Mudge. Good morning. Bilge! Euler! Get this thing outside and stand it upright. I hope she don't think I'm riding on this, because I'm not. Boy, oh, don't be stupid. There's no siege. She'll never get it off the ground anyway. <sighs> A very professional job, if I do say so myself. Well, that took long enough. Oh, there's something not quite right about that somehow. Fellow villagers, since Stiltsville has been left hanging in midair, we have, as you know, gained great advantages from being separated from Her Majesty Queen Cack. <laughs> However, the time for wool delivery has come round again, and we find ourselves unable to deliver it because we are cut off from the rest of the world. There will be no fairy tales this year. 
Oh, no. Of course, this cannot be allowed to happen. Some way must be found to put the wall across the Great Divide. So, anybody with any good ideas on how to solve the problem, and anybody wishing to help, please assemble at the Low Hill in one hour. Thank you. Hello, Bimble. We've got a big problem, Teeny Weeny. <laughs> How do you think it starts, Dolly? What do you think makes it go? If I knew that, Sploot, I wouldn't be standing here twiddling my thumbs, would I? Go away! You've uh, got it outside, I see. Yes. Trying to work out how it starts, I expect. Yes. I seem to remember you're supposed to pour liquid in there and light it. Sounds ridiculous to me. Oila! Bilge! If she did make that thing fly... Which she won't. Which she won't, probably. But if she did, if she did, and we went in it, like, flying it and everything, well, we'd need the gear, wouldn't we? Helmets and goggles and flying jackets and things, wouldn't we? Yeah, you're right. We would. Couldn't I just wish for a flying thing and then fly the wool across? No. Sorry, definitely not. Why not? Because then everyone would see you and know about the bucket, wouldn't they? Be reasonable, Bimble. Oh yes, I suppose so. Cheer up. Perhaps they'll be able to manage on their own. I bet they won't. It's a huge big gap to get across. Well, why don't we go and see how they're getting on? And then we might be able to think of some way of helping. 